In the past video, I started the building of the second hall. In this video, I am gonna basically finish the shape of the second hall. I'm not going to start to glass yet, but I'll probably start glassing soon. And if you guys liked the video, I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button and subscribe. Well, without further ado, let's start. So, I started by measuring the angle that the lower chines had and then translating this angle into the upper chines using this false square tool. I continue this process all around. until I have all the chines. After this, I started to cut the reinforcement pieces from half-inch plywood. These pieces are to attach the cross beams that are going to join the holes. Then I cut a few slots in these half-inch plywood so that the chines will fit through them. Then I basically repeat this on the other side of the support. Then I basically repeat the same process with the other pieces of plywood that are going to support the cross piece. After I finally had all the supporting pieces cut, I then installed them to each bulkhead that they were supposed to go to. And that I did that using some waterproof wood glue and some inch and a quarter wood screws. As you can see here, there's a little gap on both sides of this bulkhead. To solve this issue, I basically ground a little bit on the bottom and used some wood filler. Then I proceed to install all the bulkheads using some 2 inch screws at the lower part. And then I start trying to fit the upper chines on the slots I made before on the bulkheads. And lastly I install them using some more wood filler and a few wood screws. Then I basically repeat the same procedure on the other side. Today I have yet to finish the point of the second hall and the transom of the second hall as well as putting all the sides. So let's get right to it. Now that I've measured I'll cut the supports for the point and also I'll cut the transom. <sighs> now for the transom I'll use this piece of half inch I had laying around. So now all my pieces of plywood are already cut. Now let me show let me show you a little thing with the transom. As you can see, the lower cuts are actually really good, and even the starboard side of the upper is good too. But the port side, it's actually a little bit shorter. So I'll make a shim to fit here. Now I'll go ahead and install the front pieces that are left. Now 
Well, now installing the upper parts of the front chine, I noticed that there actually are some sort of a tight fit. <laughs> I just fixed this problem basically by putting a little bit of tension to this upper part of the chine and then install them with wood glue and some screws. Now that all the basically skeleton of the second hole is installed, I'll proceed to give it a little bit of shape in the point and in some areas that need a little bit of work. Now I will properly shape the form of the transom. As you can see, it's just a little bit, but I want to make it as good as I can. Now that the hole has the correct shape, I'm gonna proceed to cut this plywood in half so to make the size of the second hole. And you probably cannot hear me because it's raining a lot. Now I have set up everything to put the sides on the hole and I'll show you a quick uh, time lapse. As you can see here, at the meeting at the side, there is a gap. So I have two options. I can either try to make them fit, or I can divide the difference. I can change the difference so that these two meet up. And the difference is actually here, on the lower side. But look, that actually the shine is backing up that hole. So that's probably what I'm gonna do after trying the first option. As you can see now, the gap is actually really small, so I'm, I'm gonna do the second method I told you, which is just doing this a little bit. And he's sharing the gap, oops, that's too much. He's sharing the gap between those two. And that's more or less how we'll be. Thank you guys for making it all the way up to here. Consider hitting the like button, subscribing, and comment with any questions or suggestions you may have for future videos. Thank you very much, and hope I see you soon.